Hi there, everybody. Welcome to Turner Classic Movies. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Tonight on TCM, we're bringing you the entire Apu Trilogy, three films directed by Indian director Sutyajit Ray. The Apu Trilogy tells the story of a young boy growing up and becoming a man. Up next, we have the second chapter of the story. In this installment, young Apu moves to the big city, leaving his widowed mother at home in the small rural village where he grew up. From 1956, we have the TCM premiere of Aparahito, which means the unvanquished. Today, Sutyajit Ray is considered among the finest directors of all time. Amazingly, the first two films in the Apu trilogy, though, were the first two movies Ray ever made. The third installment was just his fifth feature film. We started tonight with the first film in the series, Pater Panchali, and later we have the trilogy's third installment, Apur Sansar. Sutyajit Ray later admitted he was, in his words, completely self-taught. He said he learned his craft by watching American films. In hindsight, though, we can see Ray was likely studying films from other countries as well, particularly the neo-realist movies coming out of Italy. Those Italian films taught Ray that to make a movie, you didn't need millions of dollars or expensive sets or big stars or often even professional actors. What you needed mostly was a good story to tell and an interesting way to tell it. Although these films are works of fiction, they often play like documentaries. And if you want to add the trilogy to your personal library, you are in luck. The Criterion Collection just released the entire trilogy on Blu-ray and DVD, each with a number of special features. To find out more, visit shop.tcm.com. But first, from 1956, here is the second film in Sutyajit Ray's Apu trilogy, also a TCM premiere, Aparahito. 